on replacing the coolant and I got some brake fluid clutch brake fluid I'll be replacing that probably in the next video for today I will be just focusing on the coolant and I will try and find the leak I've been losing air in my tire front tire for the past three weeks and it's a very small leak because I'm only losing um, pretty much 20 psi every three weeks which is pretty much going flat every three weeks so I'm gonna figure out if there's a nail or there's there's a puncture somewhere we'll try to replace that with the kit that I have hopefully I have some left and I will be replacing the coolant again because I have been having a sort of overheating issue I wouldn't really say overheating but the engine is running a little bit hotter than usual by five or six degrees and the only reason I think is because there's more water in the system than coolant so I will be pre-mixing today I have concentrated coolant here that I will pre-mix with distilled water so we will flush the coolant put brand new coolant in it and then figure out the tire leak hopefully we can find it let's get going let's take this baby in the air I love how this turned out to be it's pretty clean get under the car and flush the coolant so it's pretty simple just jack up the car and then on the driver's side you will find this access hole for the drain plug for the coolant just open that it will flush the system make sure you open up the cap whenever you are draining something that way if there's any air traps just flows all the way down As the coolant is draining right now I'm gonna start working on the tire now this is the kit that I have and I'm gonna show you how to use it now this tire here has been going low every three weeks two to three weeks it's just going flat so I'm sure there's a leak somewhere and I never bothered checking and it's been almost two months now that I'm just filling it with air every two three weeks so let's take it out and find the leak I see it already so the best way to find leaks on tires is to get a spray bottle and just start spraying around until you see bubbles or of course if you can see the nail and that's obvious just like how we have it here that's a nail and I don't know if you can see it bubbling around there is the leak As you can see the bubbles there that tells me there's a leak there so the best way to take this out is by getting a flat or whatever way you want to take this out of course you're not going to drill it so I'm going to get a flat and try taking that out but before that I'm going to deflate the tire All right, I think it's deflated enough. And then you go back to it and just try prying it out. So there we have it. That is the screw that was in, and right now it's leaking, right here. So what we're going to do now is use the kit. So 
So I'm gonna use this now to enlarge in the hole and then I will insert the plug. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna put it in. So once you do that, you're gonna come here, grab your other tool, take out one of the seals or whatever you wanna call it, the gluey stuff. We're gonna slide it in here. go like this we're just gonna coat a little bit on it I'm gonna push it inside I'm gonna push it in and just take it out I'm gonna go to the blade and just slice off the extra I'm not gonna go all the way down usually this melts down when you start driving it so not too worried about it I think that's good enough for now. All right, let's test for leaks now. So the tire is inflated and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna spray water and see if there's any bubbles. I don't see any bubbles, so we are good. All right, so the wheel is back on. The leak is fixed, that's good. The grand plug is back in place, that's good. Now, just make sure you don't do the coolant flush when the engine is hot because when you open the cap there's so much pressure in it that the water is just going to boil out and it's going to burn you and everything around you. I don't mean literally burn on fire but it's very hot to the point where it's really hot you get the idea. So what I'm going to do now is the following. Since I have concentrated coolant I have to pre-mix it half half and I will show you how to do that. So here I have a bottle of distilled water, empty bottle, and concentrated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour half, half, and I'll stop putting it into the rat. So I'm going to start with the water first. So they sell these in concentrated and pre-mixed. The pre-mix is usually um, $6 or five dollars cheaper depending on your local stores um, it's always better to get concentrated because you get more for what you're paying compared to when it's pre-mixed so if you are paying for the price of pre-mixed you would get only one bottle but if you get concentrated for a few more dollars, you can make two bottles out of that. So that's what makes sense. 
you get the concentrated, you mix it yourself, and you can have one as a spare, and the other one you put in your system. Now it's a good idea to use a funnel, but um, I'll try doing it with that. Now you do have a max line here, it says full, but usually when you empty the system there's a lot of air, as you can see it's just going down, it's going to go even more down when I start the engine, you can see there it's bubbling, here there's a coolant and the full is there but I know it's going to go down once I start the engine, it's already going down slowly because of the air trapped in. So I'm going to wait for the engine to warm up a little bit and I'm going to close the cap. Now if you see the water boiling and coming up, just quickly close the cap. That means pressure is building up. But so far the engine's cold, so no pressure. I don't know what that sound is. Sounds like it's coming from the water pump. down all the way below has gone down more so I'm gonna keep filling it up all right so the line is back up again and it feels the see it's there and it's going down even more let's go ahead and add a little bit more right now it's just at F exactly at F there. So I don't know if you can see the steam slowly coming out, that tells me that the water is getting hot and I don't see any more bubbles so I don't think there's any air trap in the system, which is a good thing. Let's see if the car reached optimal temperature. Alright, I'm going to turn off the AC. Go back in here. So, so far it seems like it's good. I'm going to cap it off, take it for a drive, let it cool down, and I'm going to check the coolant again. So basically we have a little bit left from this bottle, and then we have the other bottle here, which is completely full. So that's why you get concentrated and you do it yourself. I'm going to take the cooling with me just in case. Just in case something happens, at least I have cooling to get me back home. Alright, so let's monitor our cooling temperature and go for a drive. So far it's alright, I usually run around 195, 190 cruising and whenever I push it I'm around 205, 210. On track days I go around 215, 220 max. 
Um, but right now I'm, I'm pushing it, so let's see what I hit. So as you can see it's dropping when I'm just driving normal and it'll drop even further to 185, 190. Alright, so I'm back from the drive and everything seems good, coolant is fine so far. I'm just going to wait for it to cool down I'm going to check it again. Now stay tuned for the next video, I'm going to do a whole complete brake fluid flush. And this is a new brand that I'm trying, I never tried this before. It says um, Premium Super Brake Fluid and it's Super Dot 3. Now the OEM one for Mazda that I used before or that I've been always using is um, OEM Dot 3 brake fluid as well but I don't like this so far I've been having I don't know if it's a fluid but I'm, I'm gonna save the fluid for now until I figure out the problem so I'm gonna try this other brand and that helps then we fix the problem if not we're gonna dig further into it and try to see what is happening exactly this one is rated at 500 degrees Fahrenheit the other one is 463 I don't know that's gonna make a huge difference but I hope it does thank you for watching guys if you're not a subscriber Hit the subscribe button, like, and share, and I will see you next time.